What's going on guys? It's Sean Colvin here and today we're going to be reviewing my hypertrophy workout in which I do a legs and arm session. I start off with four lower body movements and then I go into three arm exercises and the first exercise that I engage in is the leg press on the hammer strength machine. I have a strict eccentric component to the lift. I make sure to keep the seat all the way back rather than upright and my feet placed all the way down at the bottom of the pad rather than upright to allow for greater knees over toes, which further biases my quads, which is the goal of the lift, to really stimulate and place tension on the quads. Uh, I'm doing this for about three sets in the 10 to 12 rep range. Um, and yeah, I am grinding on this lift. Um, thank God it's a stable. I'm taking it close to failure or one rep shy. Uh, the muscles don't know how much weight's on the bar. They respond to how much tension that stimulates it. Um, yeah, it's a grinder. You could see me. It looks like I'm at war and fighting my demons, which I kind of am. Uh, the next movement I'm doing is the kneeling plate loaded leg curl for hamstrings. Uh, I'm doing this for two to three sets, 10 to 12 repetitions. And I'm going to failure with even lengthened partials. Um, I could probably slow down the eccentric a little bit more because you could see I'm rushing it a little bit here, if you want me to be honest. And the next exercise I'm doing is the Nautilus guided machine squad in which I keep my legs placed a bit forward to bias the quads and get more knees over toes, of course. Um, I emphasize the eccentric component. Um, I try not to use the stretch reflex at the bottom till I just pounce up at the bottom rather than actually stimulate the quads and use them to get out of the hole rather than just pouncing, like I said. Um, and yeah, I'm going to failure on this. Four, four sets. I did three sets in this one, but I'm doing them for eight reps about. The next exercise I'm doing is seated calf raises on the hammer strength machine. And I am taking them to failure and beyond with my friend helping me in the length and partial position. I like the, the bottom position for calf raises the most because it emphasizes stretch mediated hypertrophy where muscles can benefit from the stretch position of an exercise the most for hypertrophic growth. And yeah, I really just fight for my life in this one. Thank God my friend Maureen was there to help me really grind this one out. It was a fucking battle. Y you could even see like, I'm just like, at it with myself fucking yelling it's a it's a battle and then i start off my triceps with the tricep kickbacks uh, sorry tricep push downs with the v-bar i keep my glutes engaged for more force production i also keep the line of pull with my triceps better to better emphasize my triceps i do these before any extension to get the synovial fluids into the joints many people do their extensions like skull crushers before their push downs, and that's bad for elbows because then it causes elbow tendonitis. You got to do your push downs before your extensions. Um, the next exercise I do, oh, and then for the triceps, I do them in the for three sets, about 12 repetitions. And then now we are doing heavy cable curls, uh, about three sets, five to eight reps. Many people think that arms are small muscle groups, so you got to do them for high reps, but that's not true. You got to treat them like every other muscle group, low reps, high reps. You got to target the fast switch fibers with the low reps and then the slow twitch fibers with the high reps. And then for the last exercise I do, oh, and for the cable curls, you got to keep your elbows in front and Glutes engage, of course, as well. Better force production and more bicep activation with the elbows in front. And then the last exercise I will be doing is the barbell JM press. It's a hybrid between the close grip bench press and skull crusher. I'm bringing it down to my neck. I'm doing this for about three sets of 10 to 12 repetitions. I'm taking this about one rep shy of failure. I really feel like these have blown on my triceps. If y'all are intermediate like me, y'all should... Definitely give this lift a try. It will blow up your triceps. Just take it slowly, control, and lift hard. Let's go.